Hello, this is Sam Shakespeare coming to you live from ForexMalibu.com. I'm here at the Trader House Global Trade Room in Malibu. And uh, what I'd like to do today is give you a brief introduction to the L1. What is the L1? The L1 is a Fibonacci retracement line. Um, we have seven Fibonacci retracement lines on each chart. Uh, that When I say a chart, I mean a currency pair and a time frame. So the dollar yen 240 is a chart. The dollar yen 5 minute is also a chart. Uh, so how do we use this L1 to in our trading? Well, one thing we love about dynamic Fibonacci uh, retracement lines and just dynamic Fibonacci in general is its extreme level of accuracy it provides in predicting bounce points. Um, now, what I'd like to show you is that this momentum, this L1 is our momentum line, okay? Now, as long as the chart or the, the currency pair is making fresh lows in a downtrend or fresh highs in an uptrend, then that line is most likely to bounce. So here we have a downtrend on dollar yen that's defined by lower lows and lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. Okay, this is a downtrend. So how does our L1 come into play? Well, as long as the price is making lower lows and lower highs, then the green line is a great entry point. Okay, uh, you can see here that as long as uh, we can, here's a lower low, here comes our green line area. Um, this is an area that is a nice resistance level, um, would have shot down and produced some nice profit. Again, here's a new low, so the next time it touches, we get a very accurate bounce here, moving lower. And notice how these band shades play a role as well. Uh, the normal behavior is the L1 thrusts the price out into the band shades, and then the band shades bounce it back to the L1. And once the L1 gives it enough fuel, then it can break through a band shade only to uh, come test again the green line. To, to, to hit the next band shade. All right, now here he goes. This band shade here shows a nice support until the L1 comes on down and thrusts it on lower to a new low. Now, following this new low, we have a bounce right here on the L1. But guess what? The price fails to get any lower. So we're, we're still in a consolidating range. It looks like it's still holding as resistance. As long as it doesn't break above this level, making a new high, this thing still has a bias to the downside. Uh, however, this is what we call many bites on the cherry. So I wouldn't open any new trades from this level. But if I was holding a position short, um, I would. There wouldn't be much of a reason to get out now, would it? Uh, not unless we broke above this green line. So that's a brief example. Uh, this is, this holds true for any currency in any time frame. This is a dollar yen 240. Okay, but let's see. Let's check. Let's have a euro dollar one minute chart. Here we go again. We have a price here making new lows bouncing off a band shade, coming to the L1. And sure enough, we're getting a bounce. Lower lows, back to the L1, another bounce. Band shade gives us a bounce. We've got a lower low. Now we come to the L1, of course. We bounce because we just followed a lower low. But this bounce didn't have enough fuel to make a lower low. So now we have get the break above the green line. And now the green line, L1, is acting as support. Now we've got higher highs. Looks like we're acting as support. This is most likely to continue to move up from here. Okay, this is just based on a one-minute chart. Um, we show you ways to take all these lines and, and uh, trade them multi-time frame uh, by looking at four time frames simultaneously. And that's what the Fibonacci grid, uh, that's the advantage it gives us. Uh, but we can see there's Euro dollar one minute. I can go through any currency. Here's a dollar a Euro dollar 15 minute, any time frame. Here we go, higher highs. Here's our support level here. We get more higher highs. Look, we get a little head and shoulders pattern and we break below our L1 here and look what happens. Support becomes resistance. We've got a lower low, bounces as resistance. Lower low, bounces resistance. Lower low again, again, bounces resistance and here we go. All right. I hope you can see what it is that excites us so much as being Fibonacci grid traders. Here's a Euro dollar 240. Again, here we go. We're making higher highs and higher lows. Look where we come to, the green line. Okay, these are our entries. Okay, as soon as we break, we get a little resistance behavior. We start getting a little range here. Now remember, the L1s act as good bounce points after fresh highs and fresh lows. When the market gets ranging behavior, they become more like pivots. All right, here we try to break out of the range, giving a lower low, and it does bounce. But that bounce didn't have a lot of fuel here. Looks like some fundamental news came and pushed it up, giving it a higher high, and then look what we have, a bounce. So following a higher high, we get the bounce. Hope I'm not being too redundant here. I just want to hammer the point home. Look, here's Euro pound, one minute chart. Okay, lower, 
lows, we bounce. This is also a very strong signal, this norm line getting pierced by the L1 when the price meets this intersection. Very strong continuation for some down move here. And we do see it, L1 pokes through, continuing to hold as resistance as long as the price makes new lows. Okay, And look at these band shades, by the way, how well they predict bounces. All right, so let's see here. What else can I show you? Euro pound, 60 minute. Here's an uptrend. Higher high, we get a bounce. Higher high again, we get a bounce. As long as we get higher highs and higher lows, these L1s are great entry points. How about a dollar Swiss one minute chart? Nice. Higher highs, bounce. Higher highs, bounce. Here we go, almost a bounce. We eat, you know, this higher high is really struggling to get any higher. We get the break, okay, and then we start holding in as resistance. Okay, now we're getting lower lows. And we're getting price points right up to the L1 before moving lower. Dollar Swiss one minute. We'll go to Dollar Swiss 60 minute. Why not? These hold true regardless. Here we go. Lower lows. We're getting the bounce. Lower lows. Lower lows. We're getting the bounce. Here we go. Now we're in a range. So that's why we're seeing it more act as a little bit of a pivot. And it would be uncertain here. But you can see the behavior in the trend. Okay. So these are momentum indicators. Here's a 240, it's a four hour chart. Now we've gone from one minute to 240, it doesn't matter. As long as you're in a trend, these L1s are great entry points. You choose the time frame, the grids help you decide. All right, let's look at this cable, five minute. All right, it's, it's a range, so you're not seeing much, but here we go. We're coming off a low and we get the bounce. We get a lower low here than before. Okay, so we get the bounce, but this low isn't lower. So boom, it breaks. Now we get a higher high. We get a little, little bounce, but you know what? It looks like it falls into a little range here. So then we start getting reliable, stop getting reliable signals until here it breaks out of this mini range. And look, it holds as resistance. We get a lower low, starts holding as resistance now. All right, how about a Euro Yen 240? Higher highs, we get support. As soon as we can't get higher, we break below. We test here as resistance and continue to move lower in resistance. As long as we get lower lows, we get the bounce at the L1. So you can see, here's a little move here lower from the L1, and we don't get a lower low. So it breaks, making a higher high, and guess where we get our bounce? Higher high, we bounce as support to the upside. Um, so we get in a lot more detailed training with this, but I think you can get the idea. You can see from just some glances, here's a Euro Yen one minute chart. Let's bring this over for just a quick second. You can see here, lower lows. L1 bounces very nice. So our indicators are good across all currencies and all time frames. And that's what I'm trying to get across and show to you today. Uh, but listen, I just want to make it quick. I hope that just uh, helps a little bit in uh, explaining just one element of our platform and how we use it to uh, trade consistently. Uh, I'd love to share more with you. Just sign up. Uh, if you could just put your name and email in the form to the right, we can get you into a free live trading session, and you can see us use this uh, to make pips in the live market. Uh, so again, this is Sam Shakespeare uh, from ForexMalibu.com. Looking forward to trading with all of you. Take care.